Hello, I'm Tara Brabazon, I'm the Dean of Graduate Research at Flinders University, and welcome to Vlog 67, Alt Metrics. Now I've been working on this vlog for about a year. Alt Metrics is important, but I've just been waiting for a little bit more refereed literature to be able to shape the case and shape the argument for you today. But I think now is the right time because the University of Melbourne and the University of Western Australia have released briefing packages for their PhD students about altmetrics. So in the vlog this week, I'm going to talk about what is it, what is altmetrics, and how you can use it in your career today and your career going forward to enable impact. And yes, impact matters here. We live in an historic moment in higher education and indeed beyond where impact matters. There is an understanding, I think, that citations confront a series of challenges. At the very least, citations on our research are lagged. So it's very difficult in real time to determine what is going on in terms of our research audiences. And Altmetrics gives us some sense of not only dissemination, but who is reading our research and perhaps what they are getting out of it. So it's quite valuable. So let's start with some definitions. Altmetrics began in 2010 and it stands for Alternative Metrics. It applies not only to refereed articles, but to data sets, research code, people, books, videos. So this is quite significant. A lot of traditional citations quite rightly were critiqued because they tended to operate best in the harder end of the sciences and also engineering, computer science in particular, whereas Altmetrics operates very effectively through all the disciplines, including scholarly monographs, including books. So that's important for the humanities and theoretical social scientists out there. Altmetrics also has a great PhD link because it was invented in 2010 by a PhD student, Jason Priam, and he's gone on to create a very interesting Altmetrics tracking service called Impact Story, which we're going to talk about shortly. So what does Altmetrics do? It reveals to us article views, article downloads, the saving of bookmarks through Mendeley, say, or through sites you like, but also it monitors social media conversations, particularly through Twitter. All metrics, all metrics are always controversial. There's always the notion that, oh look, why are we doing this? It, it misses a whole series of our influence and our audiences, and all of that is right. All of that is correct. But we can't just simply deny metrics because it's got flaws, even from the high humanities, because we are public scholars. You've heard me say this before, we are paid by the public purse. So therefore we have a responsibility to show how that public money is being used and its influence and yes, its impact. So alt metrics tells us nothing, nothing, about the quality of the paper, the quality of the researcher, the quality of the presentation, the quality of the book. It does not tell us about quality. But what it does do is provide a strategy, a mechanism, a way, an apparatus for us to monitor and track the thousands of conversations that are being enacted about research, particularly in social media. It is a way to track who is discussing our work online and how it is being used. Incredibly valuable. Also, I think Altmetrics extends our international view about what impact actually is. So I think this is great. Impact in different national systems of research management, impact itself tends to be very narrowly defined. Altmetrics, through its mechanisms, through its algorithms, is allowing us to broaden out what impact is because it's changing how we can measure and assess it. And I think that's incredibly valuable. Altmetrics is one of many types of filters that exist in research, particularly for refereed articles. 
no one can read everything and all of us require filters, ways to work out what is valuable, what should be read and what perhaps is less relevant. And what Altmetrics does, and I found this incredibly useful in some disciplines, particularly information management, information science, information literacy, is it allows us to work out the hot topics, the hot issues, the clustering of debates, and that enables us to read that hot and interesting area and think about how our work can respond to it. So that's quite useful. Altmetrics is also being conceptualised and indeed commercialised by a range of businesses and that does include Impact Story, one word, Impact Story. Do watch this, put it into Google, have a look at what's happening with Impact Story. It is a web-based application with the primary goal of increasing the accessibility but also the access to research. So it has a good dissemination strategy to try and allow open access and open discussion of research and that's terrific. What they particularly do, that is Impact Story, is that they aggregate information from Mendeley and Twitter in particular. That algorithm will probably broaden out, but at the moment it is really strongly based and skewed to Mendeley and to Twitter. Impact Story, I think, is the one to watch in terms of these tracking services. It is open access and I think it will have a role going forward. That's what I've been watching for the last year to see if I could just say Impact Story looks like it's the one and I think it is probably the tracking service to watch. But a whole series of different commercial publishers are doing their own thing. Yes, it's Nature. Yes, it's El Saviour. Yes, it is, for example, Taylor and Francis. So a whole series of really top-end commercial publishers are monitoring downloads and citations of articles and reporting that as altmetric on their websites. Some journals are also taking this seriously, and in fact, before Altmetrics existed, the Journal of Medical Internet Research, a fascinating journal, can I say, I've always enjoyed it, but the Journal of Medical Internet Research has been counting the number of Twitter mentions and discussions since 2008. So that's going to provide a really powerful longitudinal data set to evaluate digital impact and perhaps how it works against analog impact. Altmetrics is now particularly in North America, that is the United States and Canada, being considered in appointment processes and also in promotional reviews. The Altmetric Donut Altmetric Donut is increasingly becoming the industry standard. So if we are interested to see how an article travels or the impact of a person, the Altmetric Donut is becoming the way in which that's assessed. PlumX is also a competitor in that sphere, but it seems to me from my research in the last year that PlumX is being used by institutions and the donut is particularly being deployed by individuals. We'll see what happens going forward. The University of Pittsburgh is also really experimenting with institution-wide altmetrics. Other universities will follow, but will monitor particularly Pittsburgh because they got in there first and they're starting to get some interesting longitudinal data. Importantly, I need to say this as I always do to you all, altmetrics, like all metrics, can be gamed. Remember, there is nothing in altmetrics or any metric that determines the quality of the publication. And the problem we've got in all metrics is that bad research is heavily cited. Remember, I called this the Mark Prensky effect. He developed digital natives a decade and a half ago. He was completely wrong. So people like me continued to cite him throughout the last decade and a half to show how completely wrong he was. So really bad research tends to get cited as well. So why this matters to you, to PhD students and to early career researchers? Right. It is important because it is an act of disintermediation. That means it is a great leveller. Altmetrics can work just as effectively for a PhD student as an international professor. So to try and get yourself a bit of visibility, Altmetrics is a great strategy to do that. And yes, you'll also be able to monitor and watch how people are using your work and which bits of your research have the most traction, the most currency, 
And that's quite important. So what I want you to do, if you so choose, if you think this is something that is of interest to you, you can start to develop your altmetric profile today. This is how you do it. This is how you get maximum bang for your buck in the minimum time. Firstly, comment on other people's blogs. Don't just repost it, move it through Twitter. Start to offer direct commentary on blogs. That is counted. In Twitter, follow influential people. Retweet influential tweets and most importantly start to engage in a conversation with other scholars. All that Twitter activity is being monitored and counted and aggregated. Importantly too if you do have a blog and we have wonderful students out there that have a blog don't just talk about yourself look at me look at me look at me some of the most successfully cited blogs refer to other people's work and start to link to them, talk about it on Twitter as well, start to really connect up and triangulate your social media profile. And the quickest way to increase your citation count online is obviously to use video and to use images. Video and images have three times the impact of text alone. So if you've got a tweet with an image or linking to a video, it has three times the impact, momentum and traction than a text singular tweet. So what I'd ask you to do is have a plan, Stan. I want you to have a plan, have a predictability, have a pattern to your online engagements. So don't think you have to do everything, nobody can. But you might like to decide, you know what, every single day I will send a tweet or I will retweet or I will engage in a conversation. Once a week I might construct a blog or a podcast or a video. Just be predictable in your interactions. What you need to do if you can is build up a network, a matrix of interested and interesting people around your research and Altmetrics now has the algorithm to be able to count and assess that. So this is big, it's going to be bigger. As always, I wish you love, light and peace. Tea out.